So Ted Black, I want to thank you very much for having us here at the Whitaker Center today. Let's first talk about the Popnology exhibit. Why did you bring that here to uh, Whitaker Center? Uh, yeah, and first of all, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate uh, your time and attention. Uh, the Popnology exhibit is its the largest exhibit that Whitaker Center has ever hosted. We think it's a very, very relevant exhibit for families of all ages. And sometimes it's a real challenge uh, for a science center that has certain offerings to be attractive to teenagers and, and young adults. And so this is something that really uh, bridges those different age age divides so that you'll see families and we've seen them in here from little toddlers up to teenagers and they're all they all have something to do and there's something engaging and there's a lot to reminisce uh, with the parents and, and people of a certain age so that's really the why so Lexi what are we looking at right now so this is one of the exhibits of popnology we call this a day in 1983 it basically shows all of the different things that you would need in 1983 instead of a cell phone. So we've got a typewriter and some music and an alarm clock, all things that we would use our cell phone for today that you wouldn't have had in 1983. Lexi, this is not the kind of vehicle you normally see on the roadways of central Pennsylvania no, very often. No, it is often. not. But this is a unique vehicle. It is a very unique vehicle. In what way? It is the world's first 3D printed car. It is entirely 3D printed and took them, I believe, about 48 hours to fully print. The entire body is completely made of plastic filament that they use 3D printers to make on the TV behind the car. You can actually see the process of how they did that. Obviously, it's sped up a little bit, but it's a really cool and immersive process to watch. So this car actually can drive on the road? I mean, if we wanted to, we could drive this right now? It's not currently okay. set up to be driven, um, but yes, I believe that they have test driven it and it worked. There's an exhibit here having to do with the history of robotics. Tell us about it. So this exhibit focuses a lot on the history of sci-fi robotics. So it features models of R2-D2 and Terminator and some other really infamous sci-fi characters. And some of the buttons will tell you a little bit more about the robots, which I'll leave for you to discover when you come in yourself. And then there's also a trivia quiz, which is a lot of fun and trickier than you might think. Well, what kind of tricky questions are there? Um, it asks about timelines of Terminator, which I haven't seen yet, so I don't know. Um, different questions about Star Wars, which I have seen, so I do know most of those. The star of the exhibit mm -hmm. is this replica of the 1985 movie, Back to the Future, the DeLorean. Yes. Tell us about it. So this is a replica. I believe it was in intended for the movie, but may or may not have been used. It is a completely accurate replica of the DeLorean that they used in Back to the Future. The door is currently open, so you get to see all of the fun, exciting flashing lights that Doc maybe knew what they were, maybe not. We've actually got photo opportunities most weekends up through the end of the year if you're interested in coming in and getting a photo op with the DeLorean. I want to set time travel back to 1976 so I can pitch again, okay? I'll have a good fastball, curveball, I'll have everything back in 1976. 